Thirsty, Cornelius. It's really hot today. Yeah, hello and welcome to Kimber Bushcraft. It's been a long time since I've been on YouTube and uh, yeah, I had a long vacation and I enjoyed it very much. I was with my wife and uh, Cornelius down in Europe. We drove down in Germany, France, northern uh, Spain and then back to uh, France into Switzerland and Germany and back home. It was a wonderful trip I made out there together with my family. Yeah, but it's good to be back. Uh, I'm out here in Hammer Hills, uh, where I've been before, but in a new place here. Uh, there's a lot of sun today. It's hot, so I choose to go in here in the shadow. And uh, yeah, Cornelius is not fond of uh, warm weather or sun too, so uh, he enjoys being in here in the shadow. 
Perhaps you can hear in the background some noise and uh, unfortunately some are working in the forests. I don't know what they are doing. It sounds like it's gravel. They are laying out on the roads or something like that. It doesn't sound like it's uh, uh, wood uh, workers or uh, timberman. So uh, yeah, I hope you'll. Uh, I hope it won't disturb it too much this video. But again, I plan to go out here. I didn't know that there was uh, this noise in the forest, so I decided to stay here and make my video. I know a lot of you have. Uh, uh, waited for a long time, patiently for my next video, and here it is. Yeah, and uh, today it's called Skol. Uh, yeah, and uh, I'll explain uh, why it's called that. Uh, also, the letter O, as we have in Skol, and uh, other things about uh, the tradition of making a toast a Skol. Yeah, but um, now I'm just sitting here smoking my pipe and. Uh, because it's so hot today, I won't make a, a, a warm meal, a hot meal. I'm going to make some flatbreads and then I have some uh, thing to put on, some uh, fresh cheese uh, and uh, I have a little a bit of uh, dried meat in this. Uh, I know Kalilius love that very much, so yeah. And of course then I have my coffee, but uh, yeah. Now I'm going to uh, set my table up here and uh, talk a little bit about uh, the subject school. And the tradition uh, making a toast, skål here in uh, Scandinavia. Skål actually means bowl. So you can have a bowl, a big bowl, a small bowl like this. This one is silver. And uh, I believe there's a lot of uh, different explanation about uh, the word skål and the tradition of making a toast. But I stick to this. They probably in the beginning had a big bowl that they put something to drink in, <laughs> that was Cornelius, and then they uh, handed over, drank it, said skål, handed over to the next person, and they drank of that. So uh, I think that would be the most um, right explanation of uh, how it started. But there's no evidence that uh, skål was uh, made in the Viking Age. It's first in the uh, Middle Age, the late Middle Age, that. Uh, some are writing about this tradition of making a toast, a skål. And uh, making a skål was actually a way to say, I respect you and I respect this community, this gathering I'm in. And uh, if you didn't want to make a skål uh, with your fellows, uh, then you could be uh, considered hostile and not friendly. So it was very important uh, to show respect for the people you were around, so you can make a skål with them and say, I honor you, I respect you, and uh, here's my contribution uh, to this uh, community or the gathering I'm in. And uh, another thing you can see here, when I write skål, it is with this letter, the letter O, that we have in the Danish uh, alphabet. And actually this letter uh, first came into our alphabet in 1948, very late, uh, because before that we have two A's that meant skål. Uh, so you can write skål with S-A-A-L, that it means skål. So the two A's are the same as this letter O. Um, and I live in a town called Aalborg. It's also pronounced O, but it's with two A, A-A, -A, Aalborg. And uh, the biggest town out of us is called Aarhus. And for many years they... Uh, uh, had their name Aarhus with a with a O, but now they changed it to a double A, as we have here in Aalborg. And it's much easier when you are on the internet because 
you can't write this letter O. So A A A A is the same as O. I hope you understand, understand that. That's a little thing uh, here from Denmark, Scandinavia. But um, now I'm going to make a toast, a skål for you, my faithful uh, followers out there in the world. I really appreciate all the things you are doing for me and my family and all the support you're giving me. So thank you very much and for all your kind comments. I didn't answer any of them. Uh, I said that in my latest video, uh, but uh, now I'm back again and uh, I'll begin uh, comment your uh, reply to your comments. I still sure will that and uh, yeah. Uh, it really warms my heart all the kind uh, support and the comments and and the love you're sending me and my family uh, during my illness here uh, in the spring. So yeah, let's give it. And today I have some meat with me and uh, yeah, this little uh, flask made of leather. Uh, I have a video where I show how to make a flask or a bottle of leather. Uh, so yeah, and this is the meat I got from my daughter and uh, and my son-in-law that was married here uh, in the spring. So yeah, school. Oh yeah, it's so great to be out here in the forest again. It's been a long time and Cornelius enjoying it too. Mm. Ah, yeah. And then I think I'll start preparing my food, making some flatbreads. Yeah, that would be a good idea. First I'll put some flour in, I think I'll only make one today. Yep. What do we have here? No, no, it's not for you, Cornelius. Over here. Look. A little bit of oil in. And salt. And I got some honey here to sweeten it. Then you see I have a spatula someplace here. Or the spoon will do. Yeah, you chew this, gonna use. Bad dog. I'll take this one. Over here. Put in some water in. Yeah, it's a shame that the noise in the background, I'm sorry for that. I'm glad they didn't have that in the Viking Age, that kind of noise. It's almost there now. Yeah, I think this will do. And this is the dough for a good flat bread. And then I just 
put this one over and let it rest while I'm making my fire. Found some grass here. I hope it's dry enough. It feels a little bit wet. It's been raining a lot here in the last couple of days. Today is the first day with good weather again. So let's see. bit of birch bark in here but this will help a bit yeah and again some amadou from the uh, beaver bushcraft awesome quality go and check them out First strike, and it, it ignited this.
growing fast now. That's nice. It's almost done. Yeah. Now it's done. Put this one. Oops. Put the coffee over. Let's put some coffee in. Strong coffee, the way we like it. Isn't that right, guys? Lemon coffee, lemon coffee with whiskey in. My favorite. And then a little bit of salt in. I do I have this? Yep, and the salt removed the bitterness from the coffee. You should try it, it's really delicious. Yeah, I just have to put the lid on. Oh, that's nice. And then I can eat my dinner here. Yeah. And uh, this is fresh cheese. I made a video uh, how you can make this. It's very easy. Uh, I put some. I call it. I think it's called shivers or something like that. Pulo in then in then in Danish. And uh, yeah, it tastes really delicious. And it's nice for putting on the bread. And then perhaps one or two of these dried meats. Just take this. Spread it out here. Oh yeah. The bread is still warm, so it's almost melting. Yeah. Flat bread with fresh cheese. Mm. Mm. What about the coffee? Bring a little firewood on. We have dry meat. You want something? Can you use? Want some dry meat? Well, yeah. No. Not today. was a little bit of meat left. Mm. It's cold again. Mm. And then this was uh, would be a typical meal for a Viking that was traveling for some one place to another. And he'd probably make the flatbread back home and bring the fresh cheese and just have a little snack here with some dry meat, some water, and then heading on to the next stop. Yeah, it's almost boiling. Hmm? Mm -hmm.
take it off the heat and let it rest. And I was thinking about something I read a long time ago. Some people um, think it could be uh, skull, or skull. Uh, if you say it in English or American, it's skull. And it could be the same as a skull from a human head. And uh, yeah. And the history is that uh, Viking drank uh, meat or beer from the skulls of their enemy they had uh, slaughtered. Uh, I don't think that's uh, true, it's very barbaric and uh, it's not what the Viking would do. I know they did a lot of things that was uh, no good, but drinking from the skull of an enemy, I don't think so. So uh, for me that's not uh, the right explanation why it's called skull or skull, um, because skull here in Denmark has nothing to do with this it's called a uh, cranium uh, yeah so um, for those of you who are thinking that uh, I, I don't think that's right but that's my opinion mm -hmm. Now the noise is stopped. I think they are having a lunch break. That's nice. Then there's quiet out here. Yeah. Isn't that right, Cornelius? Nice and quiet. I think I'll take this down.
And uh, in the spirit of giving back to Nate, I gave the last bit of my flatbread with fresh cheese to this anthill. Yeah, and uh, this was all for now, folks. Hope you enjoyed this little video. It's nice to be out here again in the forest, enjoying nature, good cup of coffee. Yeah, and I'm so grateful that you want to follow us, Cornelius and me, on our little adventures. Yeah. We really appreciate all your kindness, support, kind words. Yeah, very much. Isn't that right, Cornelius? Can you say bye bye? Yeah. Bye bye. Hope to see you again on the next one. Take care.